You're watching Copilot Masterclass. In this episode, we are going to learn about how can you use Copilot in Loop. Let's begin. So let's go and learn how can Copilot for Microsoft 365 in Loop can help you get started with brainstorming, content drafting and more. You can access Loop by going into loop.microsoft.com. Once you are inside the loop, you can go to your workspaces or create a new workspace. I'm going to create Copilot in Loop workspace. And additionally, you can invite members to collaborate as well. Click on create and click on create workspace. And once you are inside the loop, you can start accessing Copilot by going into a new line and put a forward slash and immediately you can see there is a draft page content summarize page etc so copilot is already active in loop another way of accessing loop is to install this as an application so you can click on this icon and launch loop as an icon so i've already installed loop as an application and pinned to my taskbar so click on open so we're gonna use this app rather than the online version for the rest of the exercises so i'm going to quickly minimize the background browser i'm going to name this loop page i'm going to name it as copilot in loop demo page and to activate copilot one more time all i have to do is provide the forward slash when you do that it immediately opens options for you to create tables checklists and other stuff along with copilot as well so with copilot you have the option to either summarize the page we are not going to use this because we don't have any data in this page to summarize so i'm going to click on draft page content so click on that when you do that it opens up this copilot draft window this is where you would be able to either create, brainstorm, blueprint, describe, etc. And on this chat window, you can ask Copilot to draft content or you could click on these buttons for example. So let's click on this button called create. So I'm going to use this draft example. The example is draft a work ticket for an app that isn't responding when people try to zoom in. So let's click on send. Copilot is pulling things together. All right, so from nothing, we immediately got a draft. Uh, the title of the content is app not responding when zooming in. We have a description of the document. What are the steps taken to reproduce the item and things like that. So this is great. This is how we can quickly jump into a loop page and start a draft. So let's try a new example. So I'm going to select this component which Loop just created using Copilot. I'm going to click on delete. This time again, I'm going to select one line and put a forward slash. Click on draft page with the content. This time I want to ask Copilot to draft an agenda. So type in draft an agenda and I want to include more details as well. So I'm going to provide additional details like include welcoming our new members discussion of the new product and planning our launch event and click on send all right so this time based on our prompt uh, our prompt was to create an agenda so copilot actually created an agenda with some um, bullets and it included the details about informing the team about the meeting and things like that so that's great so that's how you can create it now let's use some example for brainstorming so i'm gonna Click on this insert, click on draft page with content. Instead of create, we are going to click on brainstorm. So we could go ahead and ask Copilot to create a brainstorming strategies to attract new customers using social media. So let's see what Copilot is going to come up with. So here we have some strategies to attract new customers using social media. And we have seven points as well. So I, I don't want to read it. But if, for some reason, if I don't like what it is written, I can always ask Copilot to rewrite it. So rather than asking Copilot to rewrite it, I'm going to ask Copilot to add additional strategies. Let's see if this picks up. So click on send. So we have already seven points available. What I'm looking for is more pointers from Copilot. Again, it gave me a new strategy, but gave me in a different uh, format. And this time we have strategies like post consistently at the right times, engage with followers, things like that. So it's basically, it's really good. So it, it goes and rewrite the statement. Copilot gave me good strategies as a starting point to engage with my customers or attract new customers using social media. Let's try the next example. I'm going to quickly click on this and delete this section delete and delete let's try the third example slash this time click on draft the page content this time let's select blueprint let's ask copilot blueprint steps for 
a product launch and click send again you got some blueprints on some key steps in launching a new product these steps include defining a target market conducting market research develop a unique value proposition things like that these are some great great points to start off uh, your loop page and we have one more section uh, in the draft so let's go back to the draft page content we have a new option called describe so if you want to describe something this is an example so describe the importance of two-factor authentication to a kid oh, that's an amazing one click send all right so i'm super excited to read this so two-factor authentication is like having two locks on a door it makes it harder for someone else to get into your stuff imagine if someone found the key to your diary and they could read all your secrets if you had a second lock like a secret code that only you knew it would be harder for them to get in that's what two-factor authentication does for your online accounts so this is really great so now i can go and explain two-factor authentication to my 14 year old daughter so that was a quick example on how you can use copilot to draft or create new content for you in your loop you can either create brainstorm blueprint or describe in the previous example we have seen how can you use copilot as the starting point to draft create brainstorm things like that in the next example we are going to learn what if you have some content and tables available in a loop page what can you use copilot for let's have a look into that so i just created a loop page which includes some blurbs about a marketing plan for a company called contuso it included some company information objective strategies table includes some budget and cost analysis implementation plan etc we're going to use this document to ask some uh, questions to copilot so you can basically click anywhere as long as you click a new line um, this option will appear forward slash to insert you can either type forward slash or you can click on this it opens up this uh, section so i can start going into the document and click on summarize this page for me so click on summary so copilot is combing through the data available in this particular page and it is pulling the things together all right so based on the data available you can see that it provided a bullet points on what this document is all about it tells that this document is a marketing plan for Contuso. Who are their target market? What are their objectives? What's their total budget? So it included good uh, information from all the section in this document. Additionally, if you want to rewrite with Copilot, you can ask Copilot to rewrite. So let me ask Copilot. Rather than bullet, um, I want to rewrite this as a paragraph. So click on send. Hopefully, Copilot will consolidate all these 10 bullet points and rewrite into a paragraph all right that's fantastic so the same content um, is rewritten into a paragraph again i can go back and further add more modification and tweaks on what i need if you don't like what it is done here you can always click on this undo button or what if we have a lot of changes you can always click on the previous prompt and that immediately shows you what it was uh, before so that is always good in terms of reviewing or going back to understand the previous state let's ask some other question to copilot so rather than rewriting it i'm going to go back to a new section i'm just going to type in forward slash click on draft this page content i'm going to ask a question i know that this is a marketing document uh, but i'm not sure whether this is even going to work i'm going to anyway ask copilot to compile a table of pros and cons using the information from this page and click send wow this is amazing so it scanned through the whole document and it gave me a pros and cons on the marketing strategy based on the content available in this document. So let me quickly read one or two examples. One of the pros which Copilot identified is the marketing plan is comprehensive. It outlines clear strategies, etc. But the con is the marketing plan may not account for changes in the market or unexpected challenges. So this is great. So if you are the marketing person who is creating this strategy, you could actually take all these input and consider it and modify the document. Wow, this is amazing. So let me go and ask one more question. So I'm going to click on forward slash, click on draft the page with content. I'm going to ask find action items and deadlines from this page and click send. I don't even know whether there is an action item in this in this content because this is basically a marketing strategy plan. Yeah, I was totally right. So it says that there are no specific action items or deadlines mentioned in this content because 
yeah i remember there was nothing i have seen along with that however there are some objectives that have time frames that's amazing some objectives which had time frame included increase overall social media engagement increase website traffic by 30% aim for average rating of 4.5 these are amazing so imagine this is like a 500 page document i want to ask some intelligent question to gather some meaningful data out of it copilot is the best tool available right now to do that this is next level The next what we are going to learn is how can we use copilot to recap changes especially when you are collaborating on a document and there are so many changes happening in the page but you want to quickly go and recap the changes what it is made on that document how can you do that with the help of copilot so let's see how it is been done so copilot with microsoft 365 find loop makes it easier to create and edit content with your teammates in real time but it sometimes is very hard to keep track of what changes have made and why they are made so with the help of copilot you can gain the summary of the content changes to avoid confusion misunderstanding or duplicate work we have used this particular page for the last example so let's see if copilot can pick up some modification in the document i don't have anybody else collaborating with me so there is no way i can track that i'm the only one um, adding the content and i haven't shared with anybody But let me show you where you can actually find the recap button so when you open the page um, you can go to the far right corner which is next to the share button so share button gives you an option to share this page or a link to this page to somebody to collaborate with so there is an ellipsis next to it so click on click on this and uh, you can find there is an option called recap so click on this recap option so you can see that there are no recaps yet but when you create a recap it will appear here and when you do that you can get summaries of the changes what anybody have made you can mention people when they made any change and you can stay up to date when there is any change so click on create new recap i'm going to mention myself i'm going to tell that i've added pros and cons and click on post so if somebody is collaborating on this document this is where they can come and actually see the recap of all the changes um additionally you can click on the version history this is where you can see the different versions um modified on this document so if i want to restore to a previous version select the point where you want to restore and click on the restore button once you confirm it it goes back and change and modify back to the point where you selected so from this document the loop component what we created is been restored or deleted because we selected that option now if i go back to recap our recap is also gone because we restored the document before we created the recap now let's go and learn some additional loop prompt examples so let's quickly go back to your loop i'm going to create a new blank page i'm going to name it as test click on insert and draft page content and i'm going to ask copilot outline how to write a good blog post for my team project and on top of it you can give additional context as well and i'm adding an additional prompt make it funny and click send all right so copilot is given me a good sample which included tips like start with a catchy title use humor to engage your audience provide valuable information use images and visuals things like that this is this is really good good starting point let's try one more prompt so here again i'm going to ask copilot to draft something this time i'm going to ask create a new mission statement for a new marketing team click send what if you are working with a bunch of people putting your head together to create a marketing plan so let's see what copilot can come up with at least a good starting point all right so a mission statement for a new marketing team could be our team is committed to providing innovative and engaging marketing strategies to drive results to connect with our audience we strive to be more creative data driven and customer focused right it, it looks like a typical marketing um vision statement okay i can say copilot to i'm i'm going to ask copilot to rewrite to make it concise click send copilot is pulling things together all right so the statement which in the previous example it was like a three sentence one when i selected the rewrite to make it con uh, concise it gave me a one line statement our mission is to drive business growth through creative data driven marketing strategies that engage and connect with our audience this this looks like much better to me than the first one so the idea what i was trying to portray here is rather than just asking and just keeping what you get you can always refine it and change it 
ask for the question to modify until you get the required result. Let's use one more example. I'm going to delete what we have created. Again, um, click on insert draft the page content. So this time I'm going to ask create a travel itinerary exploring India. Let's see if Copilot can come up with an initial draft which I can work on top of and modify based on where I'm going to travel, things I would like to consider, things like that. All right, so it gave me a good starting point um, with seven day plan. It's covering like seven different places. Um, I don't even know logistically that is possible, uh, but at least it gave me pointers like when you arrive at what you can do in that particular city. Um, that is great. So again, this is a good baselining before I start working on it. Um, I could either click on this copilot and ask for the question to include uh, timelines, um, include logistical possibilities, things like that. So you, you can definitely go and try that. So I'm going to delete it and let's try one more prompt. So this time click on insert draft on the page. I'm going to ask Copilot to create a set of interview questions to ask someone with a background in cloud computing. So click send. So what I'm looking for here is before an interview, I want to have some set of questions which I potentially would like to ask. Hey, uh, can you describe the experience of the cloud computing platforms? How do you approach architecture, cloud-based solution, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea, right? This is this is a good starting point if you are uh, trying to get something really fast rather than you breaking your head to do it. All right, so that's a quick look on how can you use Copilot in Loop. I will see you in the next episode. Take care.